Their latest piece is Throwing Bones. It's about medicine, miracles, and mortality. Please welcome Sojourn Theater. <laughs> In South Africa, I have seen people die, and I have seen people killed. There is a difference. I was a girl during apartheid. I threw bricks. And during the riots, you were filled with anger, and you took action. Watching people die of a disease that no one can explain, this is, I feel, in my heart, more unsettling. I don't think getting over an illness is a miracle. How a nation heals itself? That's a true miracle. Here we are 15 years after Mandela was released, and he is a symbol of justice for the whole world to see. But are we healed? Justice seems to have no place when it comes to this disease. We have poverty. We have disease. We have distrust and corruption. Yes, we have truth and reconciliation, and we have democracy. I am a fighter, but this virus... But we are a gaping wound. We are not healthy. I am fighting no clear enemy, but that which is inside myself. I am not healthy. I want to purge it from my body. I can't. I need all of me for this battle. Like this country, perhaps. A part of me needs to lose this battle for the whole to win. In the U.S., right here in Portland... We've always gone the real traditional route with my treatments. The doctors, the hospital, the home stuff. But... Well, lately I've just been wondering if I should have been looking into a broader array of therapeutic options. Oh, you got the <laughs> lingo down. I know, right? <laughs> so you have a doctor in your family? Well, not exactly. I have family in South Africa. One of my cousins is a Sangoma. A traditional healer, I guess you'd say. Like, Not uh, voodoo. He's not a witch doctor. Don't get any crazy ideas. No, I, I didn't think that. He helps people with potions, ceremonies. I don't really understand it, but it's been in the family a long time, I'm told. You've never met him? I've never been outside of America. My father, he came here a long time ago, but his brother stayed over there. So when your wife was sick, did you ever... No. Huh. Never crossed my mind. Not once till after. And then... And then I wrote him. You wrote him? Yeah, we never communicated in our lives, but I got his address and I wrote him a letter. What did you say? I introduced myself. I told him what happened, and I asked him if he would have been able to help. <laughs> what did he say? He said that if he would have been able to help, we would have come to see him. And you didn't? We didn't. Huh. Yeah. Do you think that I could get his address? I mean, I'm doing all this research. Would that be too strange? <laughs> I'm happy to give you his address. Thank you. Sure.